All right, this is our new BMS controller, and we've got our BMSs here. These are the the smart BMSs, and they basically have uh, the the minus, and then the uh, load minus, and the charger minus. So basically, right here is what's inside there. This circuitry that's inside the BMS, and my new circuit for using this to control stuff is. We have, a, we have our 12-volt power supply and a 12-volt relay with our positive going through the relay there. We also have our other relay for our charge side. This is our, this is our discharge side, our relay that controls that. And on our other side, our charge side, our relay goes through here, plus is here, minus is up here, and minus is down here to make these transistors function properly. When the uh, transistor turns off, uh, the charge relay will turn off. When this transistor turns off, the drive relay will turn off. So we got our drive relay going to our drive system, our charge relay to the charge system. Both power supplies, of course, are on all the time, so we have a little bit of wasted electricity happening. Uh, of course, you could turn them both off, both power supplies off, with some switch or however you wanted to do if you weren't using the vehicle. Now that can go on on the user end. So that's our new setup. Before we had a, a different uh, circuit, which I don't have the diagram to show you, but it, it used one power supply in. <clears throat> but it had two relays and uh, the key switch turned, basically put this up here. Uh, we used one power supply that we'd switch around between the two, but required, you know, a relay to do that. This system is uh, quite a bit simpler and also has the added feature that it gives protection all the time for the charge circuit and for the drive circuit, which part of the reason I came up with this was I needed something for solar power people who wanted to charge and discharge at the same time. 